I want to create a playable Chinatown with the most advanced rendering techniques. Optimization is not limiting us in this video, so let's get creative. I have a pre-built map ready to go, but it doesn't look quite good. There are a lot that need to be added here. Remember, we are trying to make our PC explode. So let's enable hardware ray tracing and ray trace shadows and anything that can melt our PC. Enabling these settings had a huge impact on the graphics and my PC is definitely louder now. All the lights in the scene must cast shadow. This is pretty important for the looks of this scene, as you can see here. In the end, this is what we're looking for, a colorful scene with lots of effects and a realistic look without worrying about performance. So let's make everything 3D and volumetric instead of 2D sprites. Starting with real clouds and real volumetric fog that can react to direct and indirect lights from all light sources in the environment. That mountain over there feels like it lacks something important. Let's add some local fog to it. Local fogs are pretty cheap to render in DirectX and won't make your GPU explode per se. But they look really cool. It's time to crank up every lumen settings to the highest level. My graphics card is not gonna be happy after this. This is where we are right now, but it is safe to say that we have a long way ahead of us. It may look good, but remember, this is what we need to achieve. Lots of more details and a higher quality picture overall, so let's move on. I created a volumetric fog material for this scene and put it on an invisible cube in the wall. It changed the atmosphere but I don't know if it was a good idea, we'll see you later. Then added an emissive parameter to all the light meshes in the wall to cast indirect lighting on objects in the wall, though it may not have been a good idea. See, using emissives to light the scene will cause everything to be more noisy, it's always been a problem in ray tracing, maybe this new mega lights technology will fix. And to use Megalites I have to update the project to Unreal Engine 5.5 and it definitely isn't fixed. We'll come back to it later though. Another problem I faced was the sun shadow being really rough and unrealistic. Changing the source angle helped a lot but enabling ray traced shadows magically gave us what we were looking for. Sun shadow should get soft as it gets further away from the object as you can see in the final result and ray traced shadows gave us exactly that. Man this scene looks real. It's safe to say that everything looks better under the rain with shiny materials so let's create our rainy world starting by painting some wet surfaces on the floor. Now it was the time for a complicated ripples effect using only shaders. Unfortunately there's no real way to simulate this so I will stick to shaders this time. We really need a character to play with. So I ended up using my Android games character that's already working. It was a bit painful fixing all the errors and all but it finally worked. The water in this scene wasn't quite at the level I would have liked so I had to change it to a mathematically correct water. We have to add all these little details to achieve what we have in mind. A realistic world. I know it's a lot, but Bear with me, we're almost there. It's time to create the main rain particles with splash effects when they hit the ground. This effect will always follow the player to avoid unwanted CPU usage. Let's add a high quality meta human character instead of our low quality mobile version. It will add another layer of realism to the world. The result is really promising but we definitely have a problem with the hair. Let's fix it. So we used ray tracing and emissive materials to light our world which is not the best combination and the problems are showing up. Lucky me though, I could find an easy fix for the hair asset and didn't have to change a lot in the environment. Next up, day night cycle. We can easily do this with newly added day sequence plugin to UE 5.5. And just like that, it will add sun and the moon and all of the layers needed for the atmosphere. And to fix the emissive lights problem, I had to get rid of them and place direct lights with 
soft shadows and the results were much better with a lot less noise on the screen. This was the last step and we're now confident to say that we have achieved an outstanding look using all the absurdly heavy rendering techniques in Unreal Engine. Now it's time to sit back and enjoy what we created.